following a positive identification. The permanent coroner in charge of the investigation, Madame Jeanne Camel, confirms the identification and the death of Miss Camille Maheu, 76 years old. Police officially identified the first victim of last week's Old Montreal fire. They provided an update late in the day Wednesday at the scene of the March 16th blaze. She is the first victim that we had recovered in the rubble last Sunday evening. Camille Maheu was a retired photographer living in the building. Note that the family was informed by Montreal police investigators prior to this press briefing. The investigation and the search for other victims are ongoing. Every day is a new challenge and as we progress in the rubble, we will have days that go easier and days that will be harder. So um, we are doing everything we can to uh, move it as swiftly as possible, but also in, uh, in making sure our people are safe doing so. We shouldn't have to wait for seven deaths for such measures. A first victim officially identified and another body was recovered after last week's deadly fire in Old Montreal. More people still missing in the ravaged apartment building. Several were tourists and renting Airbnbs to visit Montreal, which are illegal in the area. Some say there should have been a crackdown on these units before the tragedy. We heard the mayor mention it would be there would now be a task force for inspection, which should have been done years, years ago, according to us. We heard the Quebec government say that they would dedicate a team specifically for Montreal, which again should have been done. It's alleged that several Airbnbs were in the building. A lawyer for the owner of the building had recently said the rentals were operated by tenants and that steps had been taken to stop the practice. It's an average of 90% of our listings that are illegal. 90%. Could you imagine how unacceptable it would be if 90% of our hotels would not be legitimate? That's to us something that's completely unacceptable. At least one of the apartments is said to have been windowless. It's not surprising as well that uh, something can happen uh, in Montreal because uh, there are various problems regarding inspections on buildings. Um, there is n not enough is done uh, on this subject. What we really want to see is extremely strict laws and rules and regulations. In the aftermath of the fatal fire, Quebec says it plans to strengthen legislation surrounding Airbnbs, making permit numbers a requirement on the listings, something that may be challenging for the government. It must be uh, ready for a battle against uh, a giant like Airbnb, uh, and it must be ready to go to court uh, to, to apply its own regulation. The Premier saying more inspections are needed when it comes to illegal rentals. If it's uh, people from outside Quebec or people from Quebec, I think it doesn't change that we have to make sure that all our buildings are in good shape and in case of a fire uh, that all the uh, exits are uh, available rapidly. Some say the safety of those in Montreal accommodations needs to be top priority. It only takes a second to lose a reputation. And incidents like this not only cause prejudice to our reputation, but so far the response we've been seeing from authorities is nothing to reassure uh, either the industry or travelers. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.